often used on the weekends by the Garden Reserve because uh, that's where they'll end up doing a lot of training here. Hanging around here. of dust wow. so you know right there wow. how many seeds is that i don't such know such a beautiful wood from such a humble beginning <laughs> i know right <laughs> oh and they and and they're like, yeah when they get big enough then we'll move them into their own pot but right now they have sort of shared <laughs> and then access to repi funds, all those kinds of things. So the other the other primary guy. We've got a dog with a tail, ear, legs, legs. There's another dog superimposed up over here. Another dog right there. The day spent uh, going on the helicopters around to the various locations uh, here at Fort Shafter, uh, to Schofield Barracks, to Wheeler Army Airfield. Uh, we went out to East Range to see the Lightning Academy and the Jungle School and the education opportunities and the small unit training opportunities there. And then did some overflights of some of the lands and then ended in Makua Valley. We were able to see, you know, the, the cultural, uh, archaeological, environmental uh, gains really that are being made. Uh, this is an absolutely incredible learning experience from this morning's briefing all the way through all that we were exposed to thanks to the generosity and hospitality of the general and i you know it's hard to say if there was one part better than the other i, I can tell you this is an old-time broadcaster this was like 60 minutes on steroids it was that good it was just learning by the hour and i think all of us could not have been more impressed with the work the army's doing here i was especially impressed just before we came back at the stewardship at makua valley i would tell you from the time we spent on the ground just looking physically at the valley and, and listening to everything that's been done from the fencing off and this just the stewardship of of the place with respect to protecting um protecting the uh, indigenous species as well as against invasive species to you know everything that's there in the way of artifacts and the cultural importance of the place uh, everything I saw and heard shows nothing but respect and so I was very impressed with that there's a real caring there for anybody who might possibly think that the military would be indifferent to even the smallest of subtleties when it comes to taking care of a place so magnificent I would I would refute that